In this video, let's try and discuss this the concept of divergent sequences. So there are, you know, if you have a sequence tending towards a limit L, in case this limit is finite, you call that it is a convergent sequence. In case it is infinite, you call it a divergent sequence. Okay, so how do you define divergence? Let's see how to define divergence. Let's try and use our epsilon definitions to see how to define them. So let us have a sequence of natural numbers. Okay, let this be a sequence. Okay, now we say that we say that a n tends to plus infinity if if we are able to find any epsilon okay for all epsilon greater than zero there exists a natural number n such that for any n greater than or equal to n a n is essentially greater than epsilon. So in this case, what is happening? What is happening? You have a n, a n plus 1, a n plus 2, so on and so forth. And it is in fact greater than epsilon. Okay. It's still coming out to be greater than epsilon. That means it's just moving on and on like this towards plus infinity. Okay. Now, in case a sequence tends to minus infinity, how do we define it? We say that it tends to minus infinity if, if for all epsilon less than zero, okay, epsilon less than zero, there exists an n such that for any n greater than or equal to this n, a n is in fact less than epsilon. So basically what we are trying to say is that we have we, are, we have this real line and we have say a n here, we have a n here, a n plus one, a n plus two, so on and so forth, moving on here. Okay, and this is in fact less than some epsilon. Also, so just remember when you're on the negative side, what is happening? It is decreasing here, right? Minus one is greater than minus two, and so on and so forth. Okay, so that is how formally you can write about divergence. Okay, now the point is that what happens when you're talking about convergence? When you're talking about convergence, when we talk about convergence we talk about small epsilon distances small epsilon distances okay but when we are talking about divergence now divergence is a concept related to very big of silence okay about divergence we talk about large of silence we talk about large of silence okay we talk about large of silence big values or mod of silence for that matter okay so when we're talking about divergence we're talking about that you know a sequence is tending towards infinity for example okay natural numbers let let's take a simple example let's take a n equals to n okay natural numbers n okay now a n tends to infinity right now how will i actually denote it in terms of epsilon so this happens because for all epsilon there is greater than zero there exists an n such that for any n greater than or equal to this capital N, 
Okay. N is greater than epsilon. And why is that happening? So this is what I have to prove if I have to prove that An actually tends to infinity as N tends to infinity. So essentially, what is happening? Let us have an epsilon greater than zero. Now, by Archimedean property, what do I know? Archimedean property says Archimedean property it says that there does exist a natural number n such that n is always greater than epsilon. That's what it says. n is always greater than epsilon. Okay. So for any n which is greater than this capital N Okay, which is greater than or equal to this capital N. And this capital N is greater than epsilon. So that means we are able to find out for any given epsilon, we are able to find out. Thus, for any given epsilon greater than zero, there does exist an N such that for any N greater than or equal to this capital N, n is greater than epsilon and hence a n equals to n tends to infinity as n tends to infinity. So this is just one of the examples, okay, how we can uh, you know, talk about divergence.